besides being two famous WWE wrestlers. Roman Reigns and John Cena are two powerful men who know how to enjoy life. But have you ever wondered which of them has the most luxurious life? In this video, you'll see a heated battle between Roman Reigns and John Cena. So, let's fight! Exaggerated Luxuries Both WWE stars have plenty of money to buy whatever they want, but who spends the most money? John Cena, for example, has been seen with beautiful watches, such as $15,000 Rolex Explorer 2, $20,000 Rolex GMT Master 2, $25,000 Rolex Daytona Steel Yellow Gold, $65,000 Rolex Eve Rose Daytona. Roman Reigns, on the other hand, loves to invest in beautiful shoes to look his best. In the ring, he has been seen wearing various types of sneakers, including Jordan 1 Mid Chicago Toe $115 Jordan Delta SP Smoke Gray $150 Jordan 12 Low SE Super Bowl 55 for $190 Jordan 1 Travis Scott Fragment for $200 and Nike Air Python Red October for $250 In an interview with Complex, he showed some of the other sneakers he has in his collection, such as Nike Air Griffey Max 1 Freshwater for $170 Nike SFB Canvas 6 Inch, $170 Jordan 6 Rings Light Graphite, $170 Jordan 6 Rings Fitness Red from $170 and Air Jordan 4 Black Laser Slash Gum for $200 During the interview, the fighter also took the opportunity to take home a few more pairs of sneakers Nike Air Max 90 Christmas Sweater for $130 Air Jordan 1 Rookie of the Year, $160 Air Jordan 1 Gym Red from $160 Nike Air Vapormax Plus Volt Slash Pink for $200 And Air Jordan Taupe Haze for $200 Roman Reigns also likes to wear beautiful watches, having been spotted a few times wearing his Invicta Subacqua Swiss Ronda a gold-cased accessory with a black metal dial and mineral crystal, as well as a stainless steel bracelet. This watch model is available for around $700. He also has an Invicta Jason Taylor 14416, an elegant 52mm watch with a stainless steel case that provides greater resistance to water and scratches. And that must be why this watch can cost up to $3,000. As they both spend a lot of money on luxury items, we'll consider this round a draw. Points for both! Real Estate Both athletes love living in beautiful properties, but which one owns the most impressive real estate portfolio? Starting with Roman Reigns. He once owned, for example, a charming residence in the town of Bloomingdale, in the U.S. state of Florida. Built in 2008, the blue-clad house underwent major renovations in 2015 and now has more than 4,000 square feet of living space. The living room has many windows that bring an abundance of natural light into the interior, as well as high ceilings that give a greater sense of spaciousness. The dining area is next door, with a huge wooden table for the whole family to gather around, while the kitchen is crafted in wood, containing several cupboards, large worktops for preparing meals, and an island in the center. In total, the property has five bedrooms, decorated in different ways to best accommodate each resident. The master suite, for example, as well as being very spacious, has a modern fireplace and glass doors that lead out onto a huge balcony for more private gatherings, not forgetting that the suite also has a luxurious bathroom and two large walk-in closets for the fighter to store his luxury items. The house also has five other bathrooms, a modern office well lit by the outside light, and a huge gym with all kinds of training equipment, ideal for the fighter to work out and keep fit. Moving outside, the house is situated on a 24,000 square foot plot, with a beautifully landscaped garden at the entrance, as well as a large screen porch with various seating areas for getting together with friends or simply relaxing. There is also an area with a saltwater pool and spa, perfect for leisurely days, an elegant social bar with period furniture, and a residential laundry room. On top of all this, the property is located within an exclusive condominium, offering residents more privacy and security. To live in this unique location, the fighter had to shell out quite a bit of money.
As reported by the media, Roman Reigns sold the property for a whopping $800,000 in 2020, but today its price is estimated at over $1.2 million. It is currently speculated that the wrestler lives in the city of Tampa, also located in the state of Florida. Known for its industrial centers and modern museums, the city is situated close to the bay and also offers various entertainment and leisure options. There are many rumors about the location of this property, but what is known is that it is in the prime area of the city, offering a lot of luxury and comfort for the star and his family, such as a pool area to enjoy with the children. According to rumors, the fighter's house was purchased for around $2.4 million. John Cena, on the other hand, at the time he was engaged to wrestler Nikki Bella. She ended up showing a bit of the couple's residence on her YouTube channel, where it was possible to get to know a bit more of the WWE star's home. It was possible to see that the mansion has a decor full of objects that show a little of Cena's personality, such as a picture frame with dozens of Nintendo games, and another frame with the album of his favorite artists, and even a piano that he seems to know how to play quite well. One of the rooms that they showed most was the double bedroom, the most exclusive room in the house, which seems to be very comfortable and cozy. The place has a very refined decoration, having for example, a huge fireplace, many decorative pictures and even mirrors on the ceiling combined with plaster frames. Going into the bathroom, we can see that it is even more sophisticated, with a white color palette composed by coatings on the walls that look like marble. There's no shortage of space in this bathroom, ideal for the muscle giant ready himself in comfort and luxury. However, the external area is undoubtedly one of the places that stands out the most in the estate. This is because there is an incredible swimming pool, equipped with a stone waterfall and surrounded by plants. John Cena has managed to create an exotic and very functional outdoor area, even featuring a slide for when he wants to have fun. On sunnier days, the fighter will most likely prefer to gather his friends and have some fun while cooling off in this beautiful pool. And even though John Cena and Nikki Bella split in 2018, some sources claim that he is still living in this property. And although the property is not for sale, some real estate websites estimate that Cena's mansion is currently valued at around $3,500,000. Another estate that once belonged to the couple is a mansion in San Diego, California. On the YouTube channel of John Cena's ex-fiancé, some footage of the property's interior can be seen. We can see that the decor of the house is older, but that everything is still in perfect condition. There is a strong presence of wood, especially in the huge living room, which features several sophisticated details. It was possible to see that the environment has a fireplace, foosball table, and even a pool table. Going down to the basement, there is a wine cellar with a capacity for hundreds of bottles, something that surely the couple must have really liked. And while there isn't a lot of information about this estate, it likely cost quite a bit of money. And because John Cena owns more valuable real estate, he wins this round. Point for him. Cars. When it comes to beautiful vehicles, the two wrestlers don't usually skimp. But who has the most luxurious garage? It's speculated that Roman does, for example, a Chevrolet Equinox 2021, a very fast compact SUV that costs around $24,000. Another car he supposedly owns is a Nissan Rogue, a versatile vehicle equipped with an engine capable of delivering 181 horsepower, the price of which is estimated at $28,000. One of the cars the fighter has been seen driving, on the other hand, is a Hyundai Palisade, a very popular mid-size SUV that stands out for its spacious interior to accommodate passengers more comfortably. This machine can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just over 6 seconds, and it's no wonder that in its most recent versions, a car of this model costs from $36,000. In the same price range, he was spotted with a Chevrolet Traverse, an SUV with a more robust design. This vehicle can carry between 7 and 8 passengers, depending on the seating configuration, as well as being very safe and technological. That's probably why it costs around $37,000. Roman Reigns has also been clicked getting out of a Mercedes-Benz V-Class, a huge car capable of offering plenty of space and ergonomics for all passengers, the price of which is estimated at around $65,000. Another car he was spotted in was a GMC Yukon, a huge car ideal for those who want to prioritize comfort and safety. The interior of the vehicle has a modern dashboard and can accommodate up to seven passengers, as well as being very spacious. 
And to give you an idea of the price, the newest vehicles can cost over $70,000. On another occasion, he was clicked getting out of what appears to be a Volvo XC90, a spacious and robust SUV equipped with a 400 horsepower engine, capable of accelerating from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.6 seconds. No wonder this car costs over $70,000. He has also been seen with a Mercedes-Benz GLE 350, a robust high-performance SUV equipped with a quiet and refined V6 engine for good driving on the road. The car also stands out for its cozy, spacious, and very technological interior, which includes modern digital dashboards. To drive a car like this, you need to shell out around $80,000. There is speculation that the fighter also owns a Cadillac Escalade, a huge car capable of accommodating passengers with great safety and sophistication. And to give you an idea of the price, this model of a car could cost around $90,000. The most expensive car he supposedly owns is a Range Rover Autobiography, a robust and refined 4x4 that provides adventurous rides and comfort. To buy one of these, you need to shell out around $180,000. John Cena for his part, is not at all left behind. Proof of this is that he has already made a series of videos showcasing part of his collection. The first car he bought with his first WWE paycheck was a 1989 Jeep Wrangler, a vehicle that despite being valued at only $15,000, holds great emotional significance for Cena. He also owns a 2012 Range Rover Autobiography, a simple SUV for a celebrity like him, but ideal for everyday use and can be found costing around $40,000. However, one of the cheapest sports cars he owns is a 2013 Maserati Gran Turismo, a beautiful convertible that can be found costing around $70,000. Raising the price, he has already been spotted in his 2005 Aston Martin Vanquish S, which can be found costing around $20,000. And of course, Ferraris couldn't be missing from his garage, his cheapest being the 2004 model year 360 Spider, which can be found for around $120,000. Cena also owns a 2009 Lamborghini Gallardo in blooming green color, a sporty and nimble car, but definitely a little too small for a man as strong as he is, being valued at around $130,000. Another beautiful red Ferrari that is part of his collection is the 2007 model F430 Spider, whose price is estimated at around $140,000. He also owns a 2007 Ferrari 599 GTB, a beautiful car valued at $160,000. However, in white he owns a Ferrari 612 Scaglietti Odo 2009, a vehicle valued at $180,000. And for when John Cena wants to take a more sophisticated ride, he can make use of his 2009 Rolls-Royce Phantom Drop Head Coupe, a sophisticated convertible car valued at around $200,000. Mercedes vehicles couldn't be left out either, with him owning a 2012 Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG valued at $240,000. Going even more powerful, he owns a 2009 Lamborghini Murcielago Coupe, a super-fast car that can be found costing around $350,000. One of the most legendary vehicles in his garage, meanwhile, is his 2006 Ford GT, a rare car that can be worth upwards of $400,000. However, one of the most expensive cars in his collection is believed to be a 2008 Mercedes-Benz SLR McLaren, a supercar valued at over $500,000. And because he owns more expensive cars, John Cena wins this round. Point for him! Aircraft Both athletes love to travel in comfort, but who has the most luxurious aircraft? When it comes to traveling, John Cena was spotted getting off a Dassault Falcon 20F aircraft, a small business jet ideal for interstate travel. The interior of the aircraft is very sophisticated, with it being able to carry up to six passengers while offering a lot of comfort for all those who go aboard. And it's no wonder that the price of a new aircraft of this model is estimated at $4 million. But in case the fighter had just chartered it, it's possible he spent around $10,000 for each flight hour. Roman Reigns is not far behind. To get around to different places in the world, the wrestler uses very luxurious private jets. One of the aircraft he has used is an Augusta Westland A109E Power, an eight-seater twin-engine helicopter known for its versatility and safety. To rent a helicopter like this, you have to shell out around $4,000 an hour. 
Another helicopter of a similar model that he flew is an Augusta A109S Grand, a multifunctional, twin-engine aircraft with similar characteristics and prices. When it comes to jets, the fighter has already been clicked getting out of a Cessna Citation X, a medium-sized, high-performance twin-engine jet with intercontinental range. The interior of the aircraft is very sophisticated and can carry up to 10 passengers depending on the configuration chosen. To enjoy this means of transportation, the actor has likely paid around $7,000 for each hour of flight. As they don't own any aircraft, we'll consider this round a draw. Points for both! Net Worth As two WWE ring celebrities, there's no doubt that they've made a lot of money. But who has the biggest net worth? It's not entirely clear how much Roman earned while playing American soccer. But after joining professional wrestling, his salaries have been growing in line with his popularity in the ring. Currently, some sources speculate that the wrestler is among the highest paid in the world, earning around $1.2 million a year in salary alone. But with bonuses and sponsorships, this figure rises to over $5 million gross. In addition to his earnings from wrestling competitions, Roman Reigns is a celebrity who has other sources of income on Facebook alone. For example, he has more than 30 million followers, as well as more than 7.7 .7 million on Instagram and another 5 million on X. Thanks to all this popularity, he makes good money from advertising deals such as the caffeine brand C4 Energy, the glasses company Shady Rays, and the video game WWE 2K. Roman Reigns also enjoys acting, having appeared in TV shows and films such as Fast and Furious Presence, Hobbs and Shaw, and in Cousins for Life, among many others. Although no one knows for sure what Roman Reigns' total fortune is, some sources estimate that the wrestler has a net worth of $14 million, while other portals suggest that his fortune is currently around $20 million, a figure that several sites indicate continues to increase by around 22% a year. John Cena, for his part, was once considered the most important figure in the WWE. Being responsible for starring in the most profitable fights, besides being one of the biggest sellers of licensed products using his image. And it's no wonder he's considered one of the highest paid wrestlers in the world. But John Cena's ambitions go far beyond wrestling, he seems to want to follow the same path as his ringmate The Rock, who has become one of Hollywood's biggest movie stars. And that's why Cena has started acting more and more, taking some good roles in increasingly relevant films. The amount he gets paid for each performance depends a lot on the importance of his role and the size of the production's budget. To get a sense of values, it's estimated that he received about $260,000 for the Marine and $2,500,000 for Trainwreck. And it's very likely that his biggest payday will be in Fast and Furious 9, a film that is part of one of the most successful franchises in movie history, in which John Cena has acted as the main villain, something that must have earned him a few million dollars. And most recently, Cena has been hard at work with his superhero character on the Peacemaker series airing on HBO Max. Don't forget that he also has other sources of income. John Cena's most recent investments is in the drinks industry, being one of the founders of Thomas Ashborn, a brand of ready-to-drink cocktails that promises to be very successful in the coming years. Another source of Cena's income is through music, having already released a rap album titled You Can't See Me. John Cena is also very prominent in the dubbing business, with his biggest highlight being with the main character in the animated film Ferdinand. On television, Cena is often invited to make special appearances, even working as host of the children's show airing on Nickelodeon's Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Social media can also be considered another source of income for John Cena. This is because he has tens of millions of followers on several different platforms. In his Facebook page alone, for example, he has over 50 million followers, a huge audience that he makes use of in order to publicize his main events and products. And because he is a very famous personality, he also manages to make a lot of money from his image by advertising for various companies. Among the brands that have already invested to associate their image to the wrestler are, for example, beer company Michelob Ultra, Gillette Razors, New Mountain Dew Soft Drink, snack company Takis Fuego, sportswear company Tap Out, Crocs Shoes, hefty disposable products, fast food chain Subway, Fruity Pebbles Cereal, and many others. To get an idea of values, it is estimated that just his commercial with the data analysis company Experian, he may have made him around $1 million.
And if you consider all of the fighter's sources of income in a year, Forbes magazine estimated that in 2016, he made almost $10 million. And while no one knows for sure just how much wealth Big John Cena has amassed, many sources speculate that currently, at the peak of his 45 years of age, he has already amassed a net worth of over $80 million. In other words, John Cena wins this final round. Point for him! At the end of this fight, we had two points for Roman Reigns against five points for John Cena, making him the winner of this battle. But if you think there are still other arguments to defend one of the two, write your best justification below. Hey, you like the video? So don't forget about leave your like and comment, and tell some suggestions of another videos, and hopefully we gonna do it. All about channel, deals to satisfy your curiosity.